taking it to new extremes, last night, Jake tweets this. Would you support public executions of anyone who helps a child transition? This would include doctors, therapists, teachers, guidance counselors, etc. Things are being pushed to such an extreme that the cure is likely going to be just as extreme. Now, what do you think the responses to this were? From blue check marks, I would settle for us putting an armband on those who introduced it into the culture, something to identify them with. So they're saying it out loud now. Uh, I'm gonna quickly introduce, if you don't already know, Jake Shield, ex-MMA fighter. Anyone who likes MMA, if you know his track record, was he a proficient fighter? Or is he kind of like Andrew Tate, where he likes to flex that he was a pro fighter, but actually had a very average, uh, like, fucking series of fights? I'm not saying this is a fighter, by the way. I'm not here being like, oh, I could fucking beat the fuck out of Jake Shield. No, the man would level me. He would fucking turn my corpse uh, into fucking dust. I'm absolutely certain of that. I'm a big, tall dude who goes to the gym. Uh, I'd like to think that I'm in shape, but no, I'm not a pro fighter, and I would get my fucking ass beat. That being said, my man Manliness and how manly I feel at any given time does not depend on my ability to beat up other people. You know, the problem with that is that uh, there's always going to be someone who can beat the fuck out of you. Just, I'm sorry, unless you, there's one person, there's only one person out of the billions of human beings, there's only one, only one, Highlander rules, there's only one person who is the strongest person who can beat up anyone in the fight. And even they could slip up because sometimes technicality, style, technique, all that kind of stuff. But really there's one. Everyone else who lives their like lives by that rule is going to have a miserable existence. You're going to have a really shitty life because if you define your manliness by your ability to beat the fuck out of other people, it's just sad. It's really sad. Someone else is going to be able to beat you up. It also gets extra sad when you gender the whole thing, when you see these like dudes being like, I fucking beat the fuck out of any trans man. And you think Clean you think i'm making up a bit right now no the, the same guy jake shield had this like recent viral post where it's like i challenge 10 trans men to a pro fight any conditions blah 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 i will defeat 10 trans men in a fight i will beat the fuck out of them and it's like so my dude what you're flexing right now and what you're bragging about posting it fucking in 4k for everyone to see is that you believe you can beat the fuck out of what you think are 10 women this is what you're saying what you believe are 10 women you think you could beat the fuck out of what you think are 10 women and then afterwards that proves how much of a man you are and also something about trans issues i don't know at this point it's kind of confusing jake you seem like there's a lot of insecurities going on at once genuinely and i say this to someone hey do, do you want to do you want to flex on me at this moment in time too many white names in chat dicks by spindix trans spindix pan spindix prime spindix <laughs> lesbian spin cozy woke actor stank cozy woke actor stank cozy if you were wondering what corner of the internet you're in you're in a, a relatively gay one but it's okay even if you're not gay you're gonna have a, a gay old time i promise you i promise you awesome based friendly gay people Super, super great and grand and allies who like hanging out with the gays. And uh, that's awesome, too, because uh, everyone should hang out and party with each other. It's 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 most splendid. Matia Tahu, thank you so much. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm loving it. It's uh, it's great. And yeah, if you want validation, Jake, uh, if you're watching the segment right now. Uh, yeah, my dude, you can beat the fuck out of me. Congratulations. You're a pro fighter. You did it for a living. It's your job. I, I could probably entertain people on the Internet better than you can. But that's not me flexing. I don't think like by saying that and, and if I could beat you in an entertaining competition that somehow that makes me more of a man than you this weird where we have to define people by our manliness and our ability to beat the fuck out of other people again it's got its limits it's uh it's straight up fucking highlander shit y you know there can be only one yeah uh, but th th there can be only one by those rules and eventually y you will get your ass beat you're gonna encounter someone who's gonna beat the fuck out of you and guess what um the whole i can beat up 10 trans men, uh, I want to commit legal hate crime shit that uh, Jake was blasting on Maine. Uh, yeah, n no one is responding to that offer because it's absurd, as are you. No, you're, Like, this is not coming from a place of good faith. You're just trying to be a weird-ass bro, flexing about how you, and again, are saying that you can commit 10 hate crimes and in pursuit of that, beat up 10 people who you believe are women. That's It's just so very weird. But anyways, taking it to new extremes, last night, Jake tweets this. Would you support public executions of anyone who helps a child transition? This would include doctors, therapists, teachers, guidance counselors, etc. Things are being pushed to such an extreme that the cure is likely going to be just as extreme. Now, what do you think the responses to this were? From blue check marks, 
I would settle for us putting an armband on those who introduced it into the culture, something to identify them with. So they're saying it out loud now. Are, are we allowed to finally call this Nazi shit? Are, are we? Because like every single time, I think every single person on the left has been calling this Nazi shit, being like, yeah, this is fascism. They're doing fascism. They're doing the shit the Nazis did. You, you know, the whole book burnings, uh, the Institute of Sexology, all that, uh, Hirschfeld, Dr. Hirschfeld, all of that shit, the Nazi stuff. Yeah, they're, they're doing it. They're doing the Nazi stuff right now. And the left has been the ones fucking, well, I'm sorry, trans people, first and foremost, then LGBTQ plus activists and allies, and then broadly speaking, the left have been the ones fucking sirens, fucking bells, lighting the fires, being please listen, holy fuck, this is real. And all along the way, there's been a non-stop chorus of, oh God, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. Now that word has no meaning. No, the left are exaggerating. Everyone I don't like is a Nazi. Everyone I don't like is a fascist. Uh, do you want to have that baby book? Uh, everyone I don't like is Hitler. Do you want to hold the everyone I don't like is Hitler book? <laughs> So, so now they're saying it out loud. I mean, I guess Michael Knowles straight up being like, uh, we should eradicate transgenderism from uh, society. That that was enough because he got to do the whole ooh thing afterwards. Oh, I, I didn't mean trans people. I, I meant transgenderism. No, I just don't want them to be trans anymore. Ooh-woo. Ooh, ooh. No, no, I, I'm not saying and I'm not saying I want to eradicate trans people. It's cute, right? It's it's cute. You get it, right? It's fun. It's fun. Now I get to tell all these major publications that they're actually misprinting what I said. Yeah, look at that. They won't own their words. They're simultaneously fucking being cowards and fucking also being fascists. But hey, they're they're straight up saying Nazi stuff. Now, why the story is more than just one fucking prominent, by the way, prominent right winger posting this fucking horrifying shit online is that holy fuck. I have seen people's accounts get roasted who are like trans people, leftist activists, queer activists, queer folk for nothing. For, for so, Someone said we should uh, send the rich into the sun. Another person said we should eat the rich more and more. Like I've seen people get their accounts roasted for nothing. Like no specific threat saying like we should eat the rich. You know, a generic statement like that, a slogan that you see on t-shirts and stuff, getting their accounts roasted for that. Meanwhile, I'm sorry, is this not incitement to fucking violence? I saw the replies on this. I saw the replies before the fucking, you know, the, the blue check marks started getting evaporated. It was just a sea, a sea of blue check marks, all of them, one after another, being like, yes, yes, it's time, the time has come, yes, yes. You can tell me that that's just a whole bunch of groipers who are fucking, uh, you know, uh, verified now because of the new Elon Musk uh, website and, and just all the gripers griped over to this gripey area of the internet. You could say that, but it's still horrifying to see. And I hope every single one of you, especially those of you who are like cis like me, recognize why last night was so scary for trans people. If you didn't see it, if you weren't looking, if you weren't paying attention to your trans allies, colleagues, friends, and their accounts, they were all terrified. I had so many, like, fucking uh, of my trans friends lock their accounts. I, I had so many of them be like, this is it. I'm out. Uh, Aaron Reed today was making a post being like, I'm, I'm, I'm running on fumes here because, like, holy fuck. Like, if, if they are saying and using language this horrifying, this extreme, and no one is taking it seriously, you're still finding this fucking degree of people using plausible deniability and replying to this all with, like, what? He's just, just asking questions. Just trying to get a public opinion on something. Right? That's all it is. So, Alejandro, uh, sorry, Alejandro Caraballo says, Twitter is censoring the images showing how blue check users were cheering on calls for ex uh, executing trans people and their allies. None of the images that we're uploading show proof of this. Load now. It's shadow banning. So this was one of the ones. Yes, yes, yes. No, because children shouldn't witness death. I'm down with PPV, though. See, we can reach common ground. I would gladly volunteer as the executioner. At least this one didn't pay for the check mark. Guess they couldn't afford it that week. I volunteer to be the executioner. This one did. Public execution is kind of wild. I'm not saying I'm against it. I'm just here saying that some wild shit to throw out there. Then again, so is changing your gender. So I don't know, lol. Absolutely. I hope everyone realizes that like a large part of this entire process was dehumanization. And I would say that for the large part, in terms of the far right uh, and their base, they have successfully dehumanized oh, trans people yeah. to this point. Like they've taken it to this point, gotten it to this point in the story where all of a sudden people are acceptable saying this kind of shit out loud. You are broadcasting this shit right now. I hope every, like, every single person who 
who's doing this realizes that while they're doing this, they are broadcasting this on main. They're putting this out there. They're filling the replies. And, and this isn't like DMs. These are people willing to like type this out, broadcast it, and then potentially have repercussions later on. What if one of your employers connects this to your account? Is your employer going to be like, well, uh, by the way, I just uh, it's kind of weird how on Twitter right now you're saying that you're fine for the public execution of either trans people who help people transition or allies who help trans people transition. Like public execution, that's pretty extreme. That you're saying that you're okay with that. You you typed out yes, or sorry, in your case, you typed out I will be the executioner. So you're you're willing to commit public murder, even if you're doing this for the lols. That's a weird thing to joke about, you know. If you want to do the public separation from this entire or or ordeal or something like that. Uh, the entire reply section is full of Twitter blue users saying trans people and their allies should be executed. Now, I'm going to talk about what you're seeing right now. This one is even more interesting. And you're witnessing this. I'm glad it's happening right now in real time because there's also this weird thing happening where a lot of these images are being censored. Obviously, they've all been archived uh, because they should. Uh, you know, Alejandra captured a whole bunch of them. Sure, why not? Can we add pedos to the list as well? 100, 100, 100. Absolutely. Um, just... Horrifying, absolutely horrifying stuff. Um, so, J. Aubrey last night was one of the many accounts I saw, absolutely and understandably horrified, horrified by this entire ordeal. Uh, and so, this is what he posted today. So, the posts calling out Jake Shields, who advocated for the public execution of doctors and teachers of trans kids, has now been deleted by Twitter. So, Twitter deleted Jake Shields' tweet. Did not suspend his account. Not, Not even, like... A seven-day suspension. Unless has has that changed? Can someone update that, or is it just kind of like, uh, let's just let's just erase the evidence. Let's see. Uh, hasn't tweeted in thirteen hours. Account could be locked. Just gotta gotta be honest in our reporting. So the account could be locked. You could have a, a temporary suspension for this. So we don't know from this end until Jake says something or tells someone else. I suppose. So my screenshot exposing exposing Twitter blue users gleefully supporting genocide is now gone. Trying to keep this one quiet, Elon Musk. We're at the calling for execution of trans folk and the people that support them stage. So here you see where are the pictures, where did they go? Where did they go? What's going on? Uh, let's try this again. Would you support the public execution, blah, blah, blah. So this picture is now working. So this one's not getting scrubbed. Matt reported on it today. Twitter removed Jake Shields tweet about public executions of doctors and teachers for trans kids. But Twitter also removed all screenshots reporting on and pointing out all the blue checks green. If you see the cached version, cached or cache? It's cached, right? Cached? We'll say, we'll say cached. Uh, if you see the cached version of these images still embedded in a tweet on your Twitter app, you won't be able to load them. And so this is Juniper showing how that works. Cached? Okay. Twitter usually requires a tweet removal which notifies the user of the policy, it claims the tweet broke, and gives the user an opportunity to appeal. Just removing the images from a tweet provides the user with neither. Which is also true. So yeah, you can't escape the watchful eye of Binder. If Binder until uh, you basically get rid of whatever army of Binder alts he has to be able to continuously monitor Twitter activity. Because like Matt Binder is the coffeezilla of Twitter. Let's be honest, okay? You don't you don't want to be in Matt Binder's crosshairs for like you know doing dubious Twitter <laughs> actions. Yes, Binder sees all. Um, but this is fucking, this is frightening. We already knew how bad Twitter was, and we already knew how, like, to what extreme lengths of divorce Elon Musk was willing to go, and how divorce energy he was going to put in towards this. He removed the protections for, what, uh, misgendering people, dead naming people, that kind of stuff. Um, but now we're seeing activities like this, where, I I'm sorry, but when you have hundreds of verified users who are actively, gleefully, uh, cheering on genocide, like, all of them being like, I would be the public executioner, yes, I will, like... You have to understand, they're talking about publicly executing, murdering, not only trans people, anyone who, like, deigns to help them. And anyone who has the audacity to help a trans person either transition or, or facilitate them maybe leaving the state or facilitate them getting medical attention or whatever they need. It's no longer just trans people. It's everyone. It's everyone. We are all Binder Heights here. Is that what they're called? I'll, I'll, I'll join it. Either way, um, absolutely, absolutely horrifying. I, I hope something more is done. Uh, I don't think anything will be done unless it's one of those things where you see it published in some articles and there's actual pressure. Uh, if there was any reason, by the way, for major corporations to still be on Twitter, like this is one of those things where, hey, 
if you see a Coca-Cola ad, be like, hey, are, are you also okay with uh, this kind of activity prominently being done by hundreds, if not thousands of blue verified checkmark users? These are hundreds, if not thousands of blue verified checkmark users all gleefully celebrating this. The account has not been taken down. The account has not been, like, as far as we know, it hasn't even been suspended. It could be. We don't know what's happening behind the scenes. He could have had a seven day suspension. I don't know. He hasn't tweeted yet today, but still, you know. Yeah, they're called Doomers. That's right. They are. They all call card doom, called Doomers. And also, yeah, the, no better time to block the bo uh, blue for your sanity. I, I wish the, again, magic spell that I had, uh, the in incantation that allowed me to just watch the names evaporate still worked. I don't, uh, don't have it working anymore, but yeah, there's that. Oh man, that's so fucked up. Do you enjoy the surfs, but prefer not to have to use your eyeballs? Many are saying this. Well, we've got the solution for you. It's the Surf Times in podcast form, available on most major podcasting networks now. If you enjoy it, please consider leaving a good review and feedback because it really helps the show out, apparently, and it's free, just like the podcast. To our gods, Xander Corvus and Peyton L. Juice, we shall spend many a generations building mighty cathedrals in your honor. To our monarch, Tom Spiker, we are but your oafish jesters, here to offer you a laugh at any opportunity. To our brave knights of the round table, Rachel K, Izzy Solidarity, Victoria Bell, Sebastian Demel, Mark Harmon, Benji Arney, Scary Earth Human, Tony, DM Rivera, Resident Scarecrow, Sir Nickus, Cheryl Alvarez, Ruby Kelly, Brandon, Words Greenwood, Everything Important, Hegbird Celine, Matthew Scarborough, Stellar Vision, Ariane McCarthy, Doug Katie, Daniel Sutton, Jenna Tao, Dark Puppy, Quiet 185, Anna Loves Riley, Omni, Riley and Anna, Poodle Hawk, Multi Mondi, Trevbot EXE, Brian Ephraim, Anthropophojack, Catherine, Ramon Acosta, Incosin, Ralph Parler, Violent Orchard, Political Puppy, La Media Panza, Todd Buckingham, and Todd Lajeunesse. We salute our valiant heroes off to fight injustice everywhere.